whether Rogue One was the best Star Wars movie ever or just a complete downright failure, you can argue about that. But what everyone can agree on is that Rogue One killed it in the cameo department. Here are my top 10 cameos from Rogue One. Red 5 Most Star Wars fans know the infamous role of Rogue 5 is Luke's call sign in the original trilogy. But what we didn't know is how that spot opened up. Rogue One shows us exactly that as Red 5 peels off and gets shot down, leaving a help wanted sign in its wake. Juggernaut Tank The Juggernaut Tank makes an appearance only under Imperial control when Jin is being transported during her time as a prisoner right before the Rebel Alliance frees her. You would remember this tank from the Clone Wars, especially the Battle of Kashyyyk. Ben Kenobi Ben Kenobi made an appearance in Rogue One? No, not, not exactly, not in the flesh. While Ben Kenobi himself didn't show up on the big screen in Rogue One, Mon Mothma, while talking to Bail Organa, asked him to get in touch with his old Jedi friend to let him know a war was coming. And this is how the famous Help me, Obi -Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. was born. Mustafar. The planet where Anakin lost pretty much everything makes a return in Rogue One as the confirmed location for Vader's castle, where he returns to get back to baths every couple weeks. It's still just as lava and fiery as we remember, and it makes sense that the Sith Lord would return to a place where he finds extreme pain and hate. Suffering, pain, those are the path to the dark side of the Force. Mm -hmm. Captain Antilles While Darth Vader slaughters the rebels trying to desperately send the Death Star plans away on the Tantive Four, spoilers, Antilles escapes and hands the plans to Leia herself. You might remember Wedge as the commander of Tantive Four. Or you might not due to his short screen time he had as Vader got his revenge on him for escaping with those damn plans. Vader always gets his man. Wedge Antilles. No relation to Captain Antilles. While you don't get to see him in the flesh, it was said that the original voice of Red 2 or Wedge Antilles pilot extraordinaire came back to do voiceovers for the character. We also hear Red 2's call sign in the battle above Scarif and thanks to the rebels we know he's definitely in the rebellion at this point in time. So cool beans bro. Chopper. In a quick flash, the smartass droid Chopper appears rolling past Mon Mothma as she hears about Jin and the rest of the Rebels on Scarif. What does this mean for the future of Rebels? That's another video, but I'm sure we won't have to wait too long to find out exactly what. The Ghost. In another Rebels cameo, the Ghost makes an appearance twice. Once outside the Masasi Temple as Jin and her friends depart for Jida, and another above Scarif in the popular picture that circulated the internet. We don't know if they made it to hyperspace, but we can assume they did. Although, you won't see Ezra or Kanan because they're probably dead right now. Sorry. Red and Gold Leader Using the same technology that helped make Grand Moff Tarkin have really shiny eyes and Leia have a really young face again, Red and Gold Leaders also got their makeover. They make an appearance in the Battle of Scarif, and who could forget them in the Battle of the Death Star in A New Hope? Gold Leader being the leader of the Y-Wings, and Red Leader being obviously the leader of the Red Squadron of X-Wings, who is home to the future Luke Skywalker and Wedge Antilles. Hera Syndulla She doesn't appear in the flesh, but you can hear General Syndulla's name over the intercom on Yavin 4. Did, wait, General? Yep, so apparently Syndulla got a promotion. But I think I'm more interested to see how much of the crew stuck around for the Alliance, except for, of course, Kanan and Ezra, because, you know, they're dead. Well, those were my top 10 cameos from Rogue One, but those certainly weren't all the cameos in the movie. Let me know what your favorite cameos were in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time.